Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a rectangular pyramid. Um, so I'm going to give you two examples, one uh, that is uh, a little more straightforward and one that just takes a couple more steps. So uh, the purpose of this video is to show you the difference between a rectangular pyramid and a regular pyramid. So a regular pyramid is pyramid where its base is a regular shape so it's equilateral and equiangular so here is a regular or a square pyramid uh, because the base is equilateral and all of these angles are 90 degrees or right angles so it's equiangular so it's regular um, the formula for a regular pyramid if you guys remember is uh, for the surface area of a regular pyramid is equal to b which stands for the base area it's just one base plus the base perimeter times the slant height over two okay so this works uh, when it's the base is regular but what if you have a um a pyramid where the base is not regular this is a rectangular pyramid um the base is equiangular, all the angles are right angles, but all the sides aren't congruent, okay, because it's a rectangle. Only the opposite sides are congruent to each other, but not all of them. Uh, so we, we really can't use this formula, okay, because if we just drew out these triangles on their own, uh, we'd have four triangles, uh, but two triangles uh, would be shorter than the other two triangles. Okay, so these two triangles are taller than these two other triangles. Uh, the reason why we can use this formula for a regular pyramid is because all the triangles are congruent and they would make, um, so let's just draw this one. Okay, so for a regular pyramid, you would have four congruent triangles, okay? And these four congruent triangles make up half of a rectangle. So what we're doing here in this part of the formula is that we're finding the, the area of the full rectangle and dividing it by two because we only need the area of these triangles. The triangles are half of a rectangle. The reason why we can't use this formula for this for a rectangular pyramid is because of these lateral faces that are different heights. Because if we try to draw a rectangle, okay, only these two triangles touch the top of that tri the rectangle, or we would have two different rectangles, this rectangle right here and then this bigger rectangle. So uh, we can't use this for a rectangular pyramid. So um, we're going to just have to find this, the area of each face and just add them up. So let's first find the area of the base. Okay, it's a rectangle, pretty easy. Um, so uh, five times eight is 40. So I'm just going to label it uh, base area It's 40. Uh, and now this one's convenient because it gives us the slant height, which is going to help us find the area of uh, this face right here. And it's a triangle. So if you guys remember, area of a rectangle is 5 is base times height divided by 2. Uh, so the base of this rec this triangle right here is 5, and the height is 6.4. Okay, and divided by 2. And uh, let's try to say, save ourselves some time because uh, there's a congruent triangle on the other side. So let's just multiply that by 2 for the area of this triangle right here and the area of the triangle right there. So the left and the right. So let's just label this left and right. Okay, 
Um, and let's simplify this. Um, I don't want to multiply all this stuff. Let's see if we could cancel anything out. Let's cancel out these twos. Okay, and then now since it's a decimal, let's use our calculators. Um, so five times 6.4, oh, convenient, 32, a whole number. So 32 is the area of this left triangle and this right triangle right here, or yeah, the left and the right. Um, now let's find the area of this front triangle and the back triangle. So front and back. So the front is a triangle, base times height divided by 2. So the base is 8 times 5.6 divided by 2 because it's a triangle. And we want to multiply that by 2 for the back triangle right there and just like the previous ones let's cancel out these twos and use our calculator and let's just type out eight times five point six which is forty four point eight okay so uh let's just make sure that we have all of the data that we need so we have the area of our base which is 40 so which is this lower one we have the left and the right areas put together, which are 32. And, oh, I don't have another color, so let's just use this pen right here. And now we have the area of the front and the back. So, looks like we have everything. So now, let's just find the sum of all these numbers. We already have the 44.8 in the calculator, plus 32 plus 40, which is 116. So let's put a plus and a plus, which is 116.8 yards. And remember, surface area is how many squares fit on the surface. So it's yards squares. So 116.8 yards squared. All right, so let's look at this next example uh it's the same type of pyramid it's a rectangular pyramid uh but they give us uh, some different types of information uh they give us the length the, the length and the width of the base but they don't give us any of the slant heights this time they give us the height height uh which is the distance from the base to the top or the apex of the pyramid, the highest point. Uh, the height is eight. So we have to do some work here. Uh, we have to figure out what those slant heights are for the other two types of triangles. Um, so we have to do two. So uh, let's, let's back up a little. Let's figure out what exactly we need to do. We need to figure out the base area. Okay. Um, plus the left and the right triangles. So left slash right plus the front slash back. So the base area plus the left and the right triangles plus the front and back triangles. Okay, so uh, again, we only have the height, height or the distance between the base to the apex. We need to find some slant heights. Uh, so we're going to start off with finding the slant height of the uh, left and the right triangles. So if we did this, let's just draw a line from here to here. Okay. And uh, let's draw a line going here, okay? Because we need to figure out what the slant height is for this triangle right here. Uh, so drawing these two lines right here and having this line right here, we have a right triangle, we have an eight, and from here to here, well, we know the distance from here to here is six because it says right here. So half of six, because it would start from the center to here is three, and we have two sides of a right triangle, what can we use to find that third side uh, is the Pythagorean theorem. So let's figure out this slant height right here. Uh, let's just call it, uh, let's call this one 
L for slant height. So uh, let's write L squared is equal to, the slant height squared is equal to three squared plus eight squared. Okay, three squared is nine plus eight squared is 64 equals uh, nine plus 64. Let's use our calculator just to make sure is 73. And the opposite of squaring something is square rooting. So we want to get that slant hat by itself. So L is equal to, okay, um, I'm going to use a shortcut. I'm going to use math print. So I go to mode. If you guys don't know how to do this, go to mode and go to math print and press enter. And let's see if there is a simplified form of 73 can we simplify 73 no this uh, this means there aren't any pairs so it's just the square root of 73. okay so uh now we have our slant height for the left and the right triangles which is 73 we have the base of this triangle so let's find the area of this triangle right here Okay, so the base so is four times the slant height of this the side right here. This face is the square root of seventy three over two base times height divided by two. Uh, and remember this this triangle, this face right here is congruent to the left face. So we're going to multiply it by two. And let's save ourselves some time. Uh, let's see if we can cancel anything out. And we can cancel out these twos. So the area, the total area of the, the left and the, the left and the right triangles are is four radical seventy-three. Now we're gonna do the same thing with a front and back. Okay, so we still have the height of the pyramid. Okay, now we're going to we need to find the slant height for this face, this front face right here. So I'm going to draw a line like that. And then I want to draw a line going from here to here. So we have another right triangle. Okay. So I'll just put a little right angle there. Okay. So we have the height, which is eight. So just focus on this triangle. I know there's a lot of lines right here. Uh, so just focus on this. Um, yeah, this triangle right here. Okay. Uh, so the height is eight from here to here. Well, we know the length from here to here is four because it says right there. So and this is the center to this edge right here. So we make it two. And uh, we want to find this right here. So the other slant height. Um, so let's just put uh, slant height, okay, and I don't know, the other one, so I'll just call it uh, the, I don't know, L. <laughs> um, so the other slant height, let's just put an O right here, okay, so this is other slant height. Uh, so let's use a Pythagorean theorem, uh, other slant height, Okay, this is an O, not a zero. So other slant height squared is equal to two squared. Okay, so remember we're focusing on this triangle right here, two squared plus eight squared. Two squared is four plus eight squared is 64. 64 plus four is 68. Okay, and we have other slant height squared. How do we get rid of a square? We square root it. Okay, and so the other slant height, uh, can we get a square to 68? Are there any pairs? Let's check. Square to 68. Oh, all right, it's two radical 17. Okay. Um, all right, so if you don't know how to do this without using a calculator, um, 
I might put up another video on how to simplify radicals. So, uh, but otherwise, just use the calculator. Mode, math print. That's 2 radical 17. So now we have, um, now we can find the area of the front triangle. Okay, so, which is base times height divided by 2. Our base is 6. Okay, the height, which is the slant height of this triangle, is times 2 radical 17 over 2 because it's a triangle, base times height divided by 2. And we this triangle is congruent to the back triangle, so we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay, and let's see if we can cancel anything out, these 2s. So we're just going to multiply the 6 times 2 radical 17. 6 times 2 is 12 radical 17. So now we have the area of the front and the back triangle, the area of the left and the right triangle. And let's do the easy one, the base area. It's just a rectangle. 6 times 4 is 24. All right. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Uh, so... Uh, 24 plus 4 radical 73 plus 12 radical 17. These are, there aren't any terms that we can combine. So this would be our final answer. Inches and surface area is the number of squares. So inches squared. Um, but if you want a decimal answer, if your teacher wants a decimal answer, or if you want a decimal answer, just go to mode, go to classic, make sure it's in classic. So you get a decimal answer, and that's just right. 24 plus 4 square root of 73. Close that parentheses. Plus 12 square root of 17. And is it is 107.653. Three, two, eight, two, five inches squared. So there's the other, the decimal version of your answer for this. Uh, so hopefully this helps. I know it was a lot of steps right there. Um, if you need to rewind and pause and, and look it over again, um, just do that. Um, so I uh, hope this helps and good job.